Savannah Chrisley is sharing one of the most heartbreaking parts of her parents' legal battle. While speaking at the Republican National Convention on July 16th, the Growing Up Chrisley star explains the tough conversation she had with her brother Grayson and sister Chloe after their parents were convicted of tax evasion and bank fraud in 2022, with their prison sentences beginning in January of 2023. Saying during her speech, I got custody of of my brother and sister and you don't know the heartache until you look two children in the eyes and say I don't know when mom and dad are coming home. The 26-year-old also reflects on how her family has been, quote, consumed with a different kind of drama than they're used to in reality TV, noting, quote, 7260019 and 7260019. These may be just numbers to you, but to me, they're my whole heart. These numbers are my parents' identification numbers in our federal prison system. Savannah has been caring for Grayson and Chloe since their dad was sentenced to 12 years behind bars and their mom was sentenced to serve seven in their tax fraud case. However, Julie's sentence was overturned in June when a three-judge panel determined there wasn't enough evidence to show she had been involved in the scheme before 2007, which began in 2006. Following the news, of their mother's vacated prison sentence, Savannah took to her Unlocked podcast on July 2nd to give fans an update on Julie coming home. So now we sit and wait, hopefully no more than 90 days to go for that hearing, and hopefully she comes home because the government said they could, not, well, the appeals court said they could not find the evidence used to convict mom. And so mom will go get resentenced. Hopefully she comes home. If she comes home, oh my gosh, life will be so much better. Savannah went on to mention how her goal is to have her mom home by Thanksgiving, which would allow her to have time to, quote, focus on all of dad's stuff. And then I'll have time to truly focus on all of dad's stuff. This really wasn't People view it as a loss for dad, but in the grand scheme of things, when you read through it, the appeals court gave us a very solid case for an effective counsel by saying trial lawyers should have done X, Y, and Z. They should have objected. They should have filed the motion timely. For some reason, they decided to file it two years past the deadline. Um, so none of that really makes sense to me, especially when you spend an absolute fortune, I want to say around probably $5 million on a legal defense at trial, and this is where it gets you. So that will be huge because we could be granted a new trial potentially.